we will install Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. Please understand that I'm using Win version Windows 10 version 1909. It is a little bit out of date. Also, system, my desktop machine has Intel Core i9 9900K CPU, 64-bit operating system. Before we install Visual Studio 2022, we need to update our system drive. If you are using Intel device, then download Intel system drive. Intel system driver download. You can click download Intel drivers and the software. This link automatically update your drivers. Getting started. Download now. Show in folder. Double click it. Select agree. Then scroll down. Install. You have to scroll down to enable accept button. Accept. Yes. It will take some time. Please be patient. Please note that whenever you see such message restart required, you have to restart your machine. Otherwise, you are very likely to fail your installation properly. So whenever you see restart required such message, you have to restart your machine. This session continues after restarting my machine. I've just restarted my machine. In your system tray, you can find Intel Driver Support Assistant. Please double click this link. Five software updates are available. Intel Graphics Window DCH Driver. Installing this graphic driver from Intel may remove customization from your computer manufacturer. I understand and wish to proceed. I would select download. I will install one by one. Download. Install. Yes. Please follow instructions on your screen. Begin installation. Scroll it down to enable I agree button. I agree. Start. Installation complete. Whenever you see reboot message, even though it says optional, please reboot your machine. This session continues after rebooting my machine. I've just rebooted my machine. In the system tray again, start Intel Driver Support Assistant once again. Following instructions on this web page, please download and install all driver. Whenever you are requested to reboot your machine, Please follow the instructions on the screen. I will install all. I've installed all system drivers and rebooted my machine. Finally, once again, Intel Driver Support Assistant, double click it. You should see your Intel drivers and software are up to date. This message. Now we are ready to install Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. Please watch very carefully. I failed several times to install Visual Studio 2022 properly on my machine. Once again, I failed several times, so please watch carefully. Here, search for Visual Studio 2022 download. Hit enter. From Visual Studio 
www.microsoft.com download download Visual Studio Tools. Click this link. So Visual Studio microsoft.com downloads community edition free download please be patient watch very carefully show in folder right click cut system drive this is c drive create a new folder db Soft. Double click it, paste it here. You have to create a new folder on your system drive. Create a new folder on your system drive. Create a new folder on your system drive. I repeat it. Reiterated several times to stress. Now double click this folder once again. Copy the folder path. As I said, I failed several times, so I don't want you to fail on your side. Now right click, run cmd.exe. OK. CD. Right click your mouse button. Paste. Hit enter. You should see Visual Studio setup.exe. Visual Studio setup.exe to minus or hyphen locale en US. Before we hit enter, you have to remember something. Right click start button, select system. In this page, you have to remember your Windows version, Windows 10 Home version 1909. 1909. You may have different version. You have to remember this version, 1909. Now I close it. Here again, hit enter. Yes. You should see this user interface in English. Continue. If you ignored my instruction, you probably see it in your local language. Now make it bigger. We will select desktop development with C++. Click this button. We can select more tools later. After installation, we can add or remove features. So don't worry too much. We will also need .NET desktop development. So select this one too. Now individual component scroll down you will find windows 10 sdk version 10.0.19.0.41 because system i installed windows 10 you may need Windows 10 SDK. You can choose more Windows SDK, but it's very big file. I will just select default. If you are using Windows 11, you probably need to install Windows 11 SDK. Now scroll up. We are selecting C++ 14. 0.32 MFC 143 build tools with spectre mitigation x86 x64 we select this one then 
corresponding ATL version will be automatically selected. Now scroll up. Then here also ATL latest 143 build tool will be selected. Also here we need to select C++ for latest version 143 build tools specter mitigation x86 x64 also we need c++ mfc for latest version 143 build tools select this one this is for latest version 143 this is latest version for ATL version 143 x86 x64. If you don't need ATL or MFC, you don't need to select these tools yet because we can always add or remove features after installation. Scroll up. In the .NET SDK, we sometimes need to install version 3.5. This is for integration with .NET WinForm application with MFC application. What I'm saying is that if you want to use .NET Windows Form in MFC application, you need this tool too. But if you don't use .NET Framework, then you don't need to select this one. Now, download all, then install. Please be patient. It'll take some time. See the download speed. Depending on your internet connection, It'll take some time, so please be patient. Done installing. Visual Studio has been successfully installed. We recommend rebooting soon to clean up any remaining files. Click OK. Now close it. Please understand that I initially downloaded Visual Studio setup in the downloads folder. From this download folder, I cut the Visual Studio Setup Installer and created a folder in C System Drive and created a folder DEVSoft and pasted it here. Then I used command prompt and started Visual Studio Setup with Locale EN US this option. Otherwise, you will see the installer in your local language, in my case, in Korean. Now, I will close it. I will close it. I will reboot my machine. After rebooting my machine, this session continues. I was just restarted my machine. Now, left click the start button, scroll down, you can find Visual Studio 2022, new, right click, pin to start, then you have start button here, once again Right click Visual Studio 2022, right click it, more pin to taskbar, then you see this icon, double click it. Visual Studio 2022, continue without code. This is our Visual Studio installation. If you want, Go to Tools, Options, I will make it bigger, International Settings, I installed 
English version only. If you want to add your local language or more features, then do like this. Click OK. Go to Tools again. Get Tools and Features. The installer starts again. Now we can close Visual Studio. Make it bigger. If you want to add language pack, you can select your local language. For example, if you are Korean, then you can select Korean. Or if you are German, you can select German language too. Also, if you want, you can select workload and select mobile development with C++ this option or game development with C++ this checkbox. Also, in the individual component, you can select more features. When the needs arise, we will add more features later. Now, I will close it. Close it. In my next episode, we will install Visual Studio Code and some more libraries for C++ development.